computer science is really so foundational to what's happening in our world. So I had always enjoyed computers. I'd played with my Radio Shack TRS-80 in the 1980s and learned to code in BASIC. And I was just really intrigued by computers and how they worked. And I, I loved learning everything about them, building them, circuit boards, programming. The only thing that was challenging for me was that it was a little bit harder to see how it connected to the rest of life, to policy problems, to really feel like you would be changing the world. And it's such a funny thing because, of course, like right after we graduated, they really did start to change the world. In my research today as an economics professor, I'm actually publishing in computer science journals and in economics journals, which is something that I thought I might be leaving behind when I went off to get my economics PhD. When I was an undergraduate at Duke, I worked with a professor in the economics department and I administered his unit's workstation. That's how I actually got to meet him. So my CS skills got me a cushy job. Uh, and then I started working with him on analyzing um, auction data, data from timber auctions. And I just got very inspired by the ability of, of research to change policy. A revelation to me when I figured out that um, even me as a student, I could do work that could really inform policy and make the world better. After I had been a professor for about 12 years, I took some time off and was chief economist at Microsoft. There I learned so many things. I learned how search engines worked, I saw the early days of machine learning, um, I got to also think about all the policy issues that came up, and I saw that it was really difficult, even if you were a very large company with lots of resources, it was difficult to actually figure out how to measure and evaluate a complicated digital product and it was difficult to make sure that that product was benefiting your constituents and also was um, you know, benefiting society. When I was there at Microsoft, I also helped found an interdisciplinary research lab and we brought in academics to think about these problems. And so I learned from that how useful it is to get really good thinkers from multiple perspectives when you're solving these problems. When you really understand the problem you're solving, you're more likely to come up with a novel solution to it, um, instead of just taking a technique and finding a place to apply it. What a great time to be young, because we've built the technology, but we, we really don't even understand it yet in artificial intelligence. We, we don't know how to measure it. We don't know how to guide it. The current technologies have really only been around for a few years. You're not even behind. I mean, what an exciting time to come in. It's not like you're 20 years behind people. Go in and, and learn and find, find something that you're passionate about, and maybe you'll be the one to come up with you know, a new solution.